Holy cow, here we go. We're looking at Case Blue, uh, or the Guderian Blitzkrieg maps uh, for the northern sector of the game. These are the reinforcements that are coming in for the uh, November 12th turn, I believe. Uh, it's the bottom of the 12th turn, and it's the Soviets' uh, activity. And I thought, well, that's a whole lot, you know, it's quite a few units. We'll put them on the line somewhere and help out. Well, <clears throat> Man, we got some problems here uh, as I look at the map. The Germans really took advantage of the last turn. And let me just kind of scroll back up here a little bit. Let's move over. First of all, so here's the reference point. Here's Tula. And there's Moscow. So from this kind of southeast and south, sorry, southwestern flank of Moscow, we have this... Uh, what well, really just started out as an attempt to capture a little section of bridge and rail here and road so that I could put a an extender there uh, turned into somewhat of a major conflict. Uh, we failed to capture the hex. So uh, you know, with my exploit move, I had to uh, support things and reinforce things. And while I was doing <clears throat> various bits and pieces, I thought, well, heck, instead of moving... Uh, the das the, the das Reich boys uh, where they were planning on going. We'll bring them up here and let's try and make this happen. Let's isolate this and capture this section of the map. So that's kind of a cluster for the Soviets. Let me kind of scoot over here. I'm trying not to bounce on units. Uh, the Soviets didn't have enough units last turn to get one extra unit into here. Uh, it's just. Uh, whether it's a mistake or whatever, uh, the Germans have really. The Germans have now penetrated through uh, this line here. Nothing substantial. It's only one hex wide, but it will soon be bigger. If uh, these forces had been fueled, we would have been in all sorts of trouble uh, as a Soviet player. So there's that gap that needs to be fixed. Now, if we scoot over to Rajev. <coughs> You can see that the Rajev uh, situation has worsened significantly now where that entire force is cut off from supply. Don't freak out about these guys back here. They're just hanging out waiting for uh, a place to be on the map. Uh, they're in fact here. So I guess we should turn that over, right? I need to buy a new pair of uh, tweezers. I lost my tweezers. Um, so that's a mess, and that's just the north. So the Soviets have really got uh, their hands full this turn, and I'm not sure where to best put those forces, and I'm really starting to think that it may be best, as I'm talking through this with you, to focus on uh, increasing the defense lines here, and uh, maybe even putting some uh, units uh, uh, here uh, to, to kind of deepen the defenses a little bit since I seem to be able to wiggle my way around obstacles fairly easily. Uh, the alert battalions have been busy building uh, various uh, hedgehogs up to level two. And then from there, we'll, we'll take them up beyond that uh, with, with uh, the HQs and things like that. So. Bit of a mess. I've got a lot to do this turn. It's probably going to take a couple of hours, I think, to get through this turn if all things, uh, if we really put some thought into it. I'm a little, uh, I may have gone overweight on uh, <coughs> on Tula in terms of hedgehogs for the moment, but with this force approaching here, the, I think that's 18th Panzer, is that? Yeah, 18th Panzer coming up the road there. They're going to pop a, uh, an extender here. Um, that's problematic. But let's look down to the south since we're here. Uh, down in the south, Kursk is right there where that uh, HQ is. And here we go. Look, we got uh, a couple of divisions of guys in the first cav, and they are making a beeline uh, down towards the, uh, the southern, uh, the northern portion of uh, Kharkov, which is now uh, completely cut off from trace supply and uh, unless I can unless I can get an HQ to here 
uh, which I can probably do this turn, but he's going to be fairly exposed. We've got uh, 14 and 16th Panzer down there blocking the road, the way, the railway here. We put a HQ uh, next to the river and kept that guy hidden and then uh, popped him off, ran across the the, the river there and uh, uh, Bob's your uncle, nowhere across. Um, make sure actually that that is, uh, look at the color of that river. Yeah, that's a major river, so we can still do that. It turns it into a minor river. Uh, and then these these forces here, and I actually can have the luxury now with these forces to either continue in a southward direction and you know try and, and really try and close off this entire area, this entire area, or uh, we can uh, we can come towards Vronens which doesn't gain me a whole lot. I'm thinking I'm more interested in the southern push to uh, isolate as much of the force down there as possible, clean it out 100% or near enough to, and then sit, position myself for a really heavy push if I have not made it to uh, Rostov by the end of the month. Uh, position myself for a heavy push come December to take Rostov and then be in uh, the catbird seat to uh, decide, you know, uh, try and uh, uh, run the 1942 uh, Victory Conditions campaign, uh, capturing either Stalingrad or the Grozny Fields, and I've got to get Sevastopol, which is significantly undermanned at the moment. So that's uh, that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the situation at the moment. Uh, from the Soviet perspective, it's not good, uh, but uh, we are receiving significant reinforcements. We're not getting a lot of replacements. I didn't get any this turn. Uh, just a really bad rolling for the last three or four turns in a row. And I also had a uh, really crappy uh, supply roll. I only picked up, uh, oh, I forget how many now because I flipped them over. I think it was 15 or 18 uh, SP. All right, talk to you guys later.